Welcome. You're listening to Newcomers, a podcast for young writers and voice actors. The following short stories were written by novice writers and may contain explicit content. Know It All by Mae McDermott. Read by Tate McKinney. Little Miss finds her bliss in something to say. Bad habit, don't tell mom of pretending to be a big kid. Funny, but I think I'm always hearing her talk. Little donkey braying, little poster trying to take up more space on the wall. I guess I thought the space above the trash would stay quiet. Little waspish whistle, little pen cap clicking, little CD skipping. This song has played at least ten times today. Little elevator buzzer announcing her story. Oh, good, the walking megaphone is back. Little nasal nothing. Little alarm clock blaring. Little pint-sized foghorn. God, I can hear her pounding shave and a haircut on my eardrums. Cranium shaking little shit. A shouting siren. The SGA isn't as important as you think it is. Go be vice president somewhere else. Stop pretending you know about choir. Stop biting your fingernails. They're so ugly, I want to pull my hair out, seeing cuticles redder than scarlet Crayola. Jesus fucking Christ. Little fire alarm blaring, patrol belt wearing, sniveling little shit. Little safety patrol fucker makes me want to go fight on the blacktop. Little hook nose, freckled, bushy, eyebrowed watchdog. Nobody cares about your fucking barking. Imagine. Spitting out air like lungs are bottomless. Imagine. The other kids making marker towers and twirling their hair to survive her. Imagine a voice people have to hide from. Imagine if she was better than this, quiet. Not saying it, not spraying it, but she did it again. Idiot. Idiot. One Path by Mae McDermott My eyes today are on the path. On the feet measuring the path, I step over downed yellow leaves, suede booted and careful, avoiding dewdrops that stain. I don't much like the scrape of acorns against my heels. The thought of wood grinding away rubber, I steer my shoes away from the watery threat, but once I swam in the red speckled darkness of leaves. Four years old, I lived inside the pile gathered near the swing set in the pine tree. I dove into the papery crispness, velveteen jacket-clad fairy. Curls and colors spraying everywhere. Bottommost leaf muck creeping up my legs. What was there except a pounding heart and a sprinting start? What was there except tucking into the world, into the muted half-sleep of autumn? What was there except wrapping oneself tight to face that sullen dream? The air was so thin and fiery in its coldness, it burned my nostrils and tied rope around my ribs. I used to spot the geese overhead and feel so afraid of their wailing, of foreheads always folded in anger, long necks craned and frenzied searching, undersides of wings stealing the only remaining daylight, leaving behind a husk of gray. I saw freezing in fear, creatures fleeing the chill, absolutely crazed with cold. I pushed my face underneath the surface of leaf piles to watch the writing of a fallen canopy, the shifting darkness, an exercise in hiding as the world around me froze into night. The leaves are coming for me, lurching across the road's blackness. The cold seeks the body underneath my coat, shaking. I jerk my shoes away to check the suede. There's nowhere else to walk. Panic by Mae McDermott When fingers tremble and skin prickles with heat, the day becomes a string of closed eyelids, tented fingers, and breathe in. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. To catch my breath is to tighten my grip on a spinning day, to have white knuckles and fingernails against palms, but what is breath except a frayed rope tied to a rising chest? A shade of life swallowed by the world outside the body into its maw. My sounded moments. The bleeding that evaporates into a room's heat. I'm always surprised at the shallowness of my breath. The way my body deals in puffs. The way life passes through lips like a draft through an open door. The way air whistles from a concave chest instead of a ballooning stomach. 
If ever I could reach so deeply, I would pull from myself a life that resonates like a bell through silent air. I would ripple through the sky, then ride the wind, my sound settling a sonic gale out of my skeleton and into everywhere. Mae McDermott of Clarksville, Maryland, is a sophomore writing major and English minor at Ithaca College. She currently serves as deputy editor of Stillwater Magazine and layout editor of Buzzsaw Magazine. Both Ithaca College publications and her work is forthcoming in the 2020 issue of the Oakland Arts Review. She writes primarily creative nonfiction and poetry, and you can find her at at MayKM4. Thank you for listening to Newcomers. If you'd like to learn more about us, please visit us at our Instagram page at newcomers underscore podcast. If you'd like to submit a story or become one of our readers, email us at newcomerspodcast at gmail.com.